Video Gamers Oasis presents The October Scary Retro Point and Click Adventure Game Walk Through Marathon Stay subscribed for further updates. <laughs> What's in this box? Well, it's that time fascinated. Well, enough, Ranger Ready. He got truly or truly the Stradner. I can't read it. <laughs> it's obviously something important. Okay. Alright, let's save the game. As Gumbo Fu. the game. Alright, we're going to... Let's move on. I'm going to have Lewis Chandler's in this in the library. Ah, uh, there he is. Save the game as... Uh, Gumbo Fu. Just in case something happens, let's talk to him. I have a, may I have a few ah, words for you. Nancy, what a shame to have lost those papers. Mm. And to think that we almost lost the house. Right. Rose is very fortunate to have you here. Did you hear anything in the parlor before the fire started? Did you hear anything in the parlor before the fire started? No, I'm afraid not. I'm somewhat isolated here. With these thick walls, I barely hear anything. Were the papers very valuable? Were the papers very valuable? Not for my purposes, no. But they must have had some sentimental value. I was wondering whether you know anything about someone named E. Valdez. What kind of antique store do you own? Do you know what Gumbo Fu means? I asked this question. Do you know what Gumbo Fu means? Where did you hear that? Now this is what happens if I say book, and this is what happens when I hear magazine. So if I say book... I came across it in a book. Oh yeah. No doubt the book I have locked in my briefcase. I thought someone had been in there. Yeah. I think I'll need to have a word with Rose about this. Nancy, I'm ashamed of you. Oh. Everyone in this house expects some degree of privacy and you have obviously violated that trust. Your behavior is completely unacceptable. No arguments. no arguments. I cannot stand to have someone so inconsiderate in my house. I've arranged for Abby to drop you off at the airport. I'm sorry it has to work out this way. Goodbye. Second chance. What happens when I get a second chance? Okay. Ah, Nancy. What a shame Here's to have lost chance. those papers. And to think that we almost lost the house. Rose is very fortunate to have you here. Did you hear anything in the parlor before the fire started? Did you hear anything in the parlor before the fire started? No, I'm afraid not. I'm somewhat isolated here. Okay. With these thick walls, I barely hear anything. Were the papers very valuable? Were the papers very valuable? Not for my purposes, no. But they must have had some sentimental value. Now I'm going to ask the question about the gumbo food. Do you know what gumbo fu means? Do you know what gumbo fu means? Where did you hear that? Now this time you say I you this time Nancy seems to say I read it about it in a magazine. I read about it in a magazine. I see. Mm -hmm. As I recall it means house of great books. I see. After the great earthquake many books and documents were stored in private homes to save them from the fires. The Chinese called those houses gumbo fu. Is that what they call it? I was wondering whether you knew anything about someone named E. Valdez. I was wondering whether you knew <coughs> anything about someone named E. Valdez. 
E. Valdez. No, I've never heard of that name. But I'll jot it down and let you know if I come across it anywhere. Okay. Uh, what kind of antique store do you own? What kind of antique store do you own? It's a gallery, not a store. And it's called Chandler Interiors, specializing in the Victorian period. I have clients from all over the world, and if I don't have what they're looking for, I find it. I see. Was this house once a hotel? Was this house once a hotel? That's hard to say. The house has been renovated many times, but several of its original features, such as the saloon and staircase, seem to indicate that it may have been a hotel. Unfortunately, there are no records on this house before 1906. Do you know who Lizzie Applegate was? Do you know who Lizzie Applegate was? Yes, I certainly do. She was a very popular actress in the late 1800s. She was very generous and left all of her money to the Ladies' Protection Society. What was the Ladies' Protection Society? What was the Ladies' Protection Society? A popular charity in the early 1900s. They helped widows and orphans. I see. Have you seen the poem in my room? Do you think Charlie is doing a good job? Yes. Have you seen the poem in my room? Have you seen the poem in my room? Oh, that one. Yes, it's just some cheap Chinatown souvenir. Do you know what a phoenix is? Do you think Charlie is doing a good job? I won't give you... Do you know what a phoenix is? Do you know what a phoenix is? Yes, it's a mythical bird-like creature that builds a nest every 500 years and then sets itself on fire to rise forth, reborn from its ashes. It's a very popular symbol in the Bay Area. In fact, there's one on the main staircase. I see. Do you think Charlie is doing a good job? Do you think Charlie is doing a good job? Certainly. He's rough around the edges, but he's reliable and learns very quickly. He's just what Rose and I need. I won't keep you any longer. I won't keep you any longer. Thank you, Nancy. All right, made some progress. Let's save game as Gumbo Fu. All right, let's move on. Continue. Let's see what else we can do around here. When the four-sided box loses its border. Okay. I wonder what's back in my bedroom. Maybe there's something in. Go back upstairs. The October scary retro. Point and click adventure game. Walk through marathon. Stay subscribed for further updates. <laughs>